I'm going to make a fall tree using brown and white paper and I have a few different colored paints. I have red and orange and yellow. The first thing I'm going to do is shake up the paint and put a dab of each on my paper plate. Here's my orange. I did my red and next my yellow. And I'm going to choose today to paint the leaves of my tree with my pointer finger. I also have a brush that I could use, but I prefer to use my finger. I think it's easier. Um, it's whatever you prefer. And I have a glue stick to glue the tree onto my paper. So I cut out a tree earlier. And I'm just going to carefully put glue on my branches and the tree. And if I get a little glue on the paper, that's fine. Okay. I'll turn over my tree. Glue that kind of in the middle. And there's my tree. The next thing I'm going to do is start putting my colorful leaves on my tree. And I think I'll start with yellow. And I'm just going to dab yellow lots of different places. Those are my leaves. I can just dab away. Now that the weather's starting to get a little cooler, the leaves are no longer green. They'll start to turn all different pretty colors. And then when it gets really cold, a lot of them will fall off the tree. And that's how the tree stays kind of snugly bugly through the winter without its leaves. The leaves blanket the ground to be food for the, the ground and to keep the ground a little warmer. So I'm going to put some leaves on the ground as well. Put some on both sides of the tree. Lots of leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. I'm using up all my yellow paint and then I'll move on to the next color. Mm. Okay, and I have a little paper towel here to wipe my finger. And then I think I'll move to orange and I'll do some orange leaves. It's like doing a little dance with your finger. I'm just tapping along, putting my orange leaves all over the place. What's fun about this is it doesn't matter if it smudges because then it just turns different colors and all the leaves kind of blend together anyhow. So there's no right or wrong. It's just making a colorful tree. 
and I'm using up all my orange paint. Maybe we'll go back and I'll, I think I'll do some more on the ground. And some more over here. All right, I've used my orange paint. And now I'm just gonna not even wipe my finger. I'm just gonna go right into the red. And if it blends a little bit, that's fine. And I'm just filling it up. Put some on the ground. I'm going to put a little more red paint. And really fill this up. Wow, that's looking pretty colorful. I like it. I think I'll do one more color. Maybe I'll do a little more yellow. And then I think my tree will be done. I want it to be full of leaves. has a little red mixed in from doing my red leaves. I'll go back to my red. I think that's pretty good. I'll do a little bit more down here. There. I have my towel to wipe my hand, and there is our fall tree. You can use different colors, any kind of tree shape that you like. And that is a sign that autumn is coming when all the leaves turn different colors.